Yeah, g'day again. Okay, just a short video. Yeah. I think I've discovered what the, the issue is. Uh, although they're not nearly as bad as what I thought they were. There's, there's rubber bushes around the swing arm. Um, yeah, I haven't broken the shaft or anything, it's still anchored, uh, probably, so, yeah, this was the other one, this one was the worst, uh, but yeah, they're not as bad as I thought they would be. Yeah, and we're off, put it back in on the original places, it's already got notches, it's got a hole here and a notch there, so, put it back in the same place, and it is starting lower than what was when I took it off so yeah I'm sort of a bit more confident now that that was the issue now, another issue is I forgot to talk the uh, nut on my drum before I left and pin it it was only finger tied I'm lucky it didn't come off so yeah but it's, of course now I've got all gearbox oil all over my brake shoes that I've got to wash off. And, uh, anyway, yeah, the main purpose of the video is, you know, I didn't have, yeah, you know, money or time to get the proper tool, so I've made my own tool. This cost me a total of uh, about twenty-five dollars. I went into uh, Bunnings. Just got some threaded rod. I did manage to bend it, as you can see. Uh, yeah, I had, these are, I use pipe fittings because they're strong, like, just to find regular pipe to fit over this would be too thin, too thin to even weld it with, an, uh, with a stick welder, but yeah, I did have to slew this one because it wouldn't wind up, it was just catching on the threads and chewing the threads up, so I slewed that, and I had this piece welded on there, yeah, same as the top, the top locks over that bolt. Yeah. But I've, yeah, it was too far away from the shaft and it was just bending the shaft instead of pulling it up. So, yeah, so I cut that off and then I just cut a notch in the bit that was still sticking out of here and yeah, that appears to be working. Yeah, of course, yeah, the best option is to use the proper tools, but sometimes you just don't have that option you know? uh, so this will get by you know when yeah if you were doing this job over and over again you wouldn't make your own tool either because the threads of this is just you know, cheap Chinese shit it'll threads will chew up on this wait for the truck to go past you know? yeah after I've used it a few times it'll probably chew the threads up it's already bending but but it's doing the job it's working um, uh, if it starts getting tight too I might also assist it with the jack in lifting it up um, yeah. so it's mainly you know, to start, stop the whole thing popping out the other thing I do want to mention is when it sagged you know, to, to get the last yeah, 150k to where I was going. I tied lumps of wood under here. I think I showed in the last video. But I was just looking, and uh, what would have been far easier would have been to just, just put a bolt in this hole. This is a 5/8. That won't quite fit through the hole, so probably a half inch bolt through there, because the yeah the arm rests just about right height is just about here somewhere, so. Yeah, I could have actually just stuck a bolt through there, a nut and bolt, and that would have held it up for the time being to get me, instead of the, the chunk of wood. Yeah. Of course the chunk of wood broke the bump stop on the other side. Yeah, yeah. anyway, as I said, I'll keep it short. I just wanted to show that, you know, you can get by without proper tools if, if you need to. But yeah, once again, if you can buy the proper tools, do that. That's the better option. So, okay.
Thank you for watching. Hit the like if you like. Okay, bye.